in this particular session we are going to cover all the important aspect of graph transformation so this particular session will be helpful in all parts of calculus so basically it will help you in uh, basic function finding limit whether a function is continuous or not as well as in differentiation it also help it will also help in, in integral calculus where you have to find a area under curve so this particular session will be very beneficial for all of you so what we will study in this particular session is uh, first we will understand what will happen when we add a constant or subtract a constant from any function then we will move to what will happen when we add or subtract any constant from its domain that is inside the function what will happen when we substitute x as x minus a or x plus a so what will happen when we multiply a function by any constant and then we will see what will happen when we substitute x as a times x then we move to what will happen when we substitute x as minus x then we will see what will happen when we multiply f of x by minus 1 so what will the transformation for minus time f of x and the second last will be what will happen when we substitute x as mod x and at last we will study uh, we will see what will happen we will, if we take whole mod of this uh, or whole mod of a particular function so one by one we will be dealing with uh, every function and its transformation uh, using uh, some different uh, function so let's begin with the first one that is uh, f of x plus minus f so remember let me write uh, here so when we add a constant outside the function so its behavior change only in the direction of y axis okay I am writing this point you will understand after it okay so let us suppose there are function given as uh, f of x is given as e to raise x so we know what is the graph of e, e to raise x looks like so it's look like like this one okay so it touches at infinity and uh, goes like this okay so it cuts the y axis at 1 comma 0 so let me write here so if we add one unit to this particular graph uh, this particular function e to raise x so what will happen is every point on this line will move upward by one unit okay so its graph will be like this one so it will cut the y axis at 2 comma 0 and what will happen when we subtract one unit from here so every point on this line will go down by one unit okay so here it was uh, 0 comma 1 so when we subtract one unit from it to raise x so it will pass through origin so remember when we add a unit in any function outside the function then it will be so it will be shifted upward 
by a unit okay so here it is a is positive so this is the basic calculation and when we subtract a unit from here so it will move downward by a unit so let us take another example a very simple one for a quadratic function so we know y equal to x square passes through origin so this is y equal to x square so what will happen when we add 4 unit in this particular graph or this in this particular function so every point on this line will move upward by 4 unit so it will pass through now 0 comma 4 and also no x square plus 4 has no real root okay so by transforming this graph we can also conclude that point that it has no real root but what will, what will happen when we subtract 4 unit from here so every point on this graph will go downward by 4 unit so its graph will be like this one okay so it will pass through 0 comma minus 4 its vertex will be at y axis and it will cut the axis at minus 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 0 and we also know x square minus 4 has two real root that is plus 2 and minus 2 so now we are done with f of x plus minus a so remember these points its behavior change only in the direction of y axis when we add a unit so it will be shifted upward by unit when we subtract a unit from here it will move downward by a unit so now moving to the second transformation that is f of x what will happen when we substitute x as x plus minus a so so in this model in this particular case the graphical transformation will so let me write this point so it will move in the direction of x axis okay so in the previous case it was moving in the direction of y axis but what uh, but when we substitute x as x plus minus a then it will move in the direction of y axis so let me write two points here when we add a unit in the x then it will move back backward or we can say west so this is north this is south this is east and this is west so when we when we will when we will add a unit in x then the graph will shift a, a unit backward that means it will go in the west direction or we been, when we will subtract a unit from x then it will move forward that means it will go in the east direction so if you are not clear that let me clear your doubt so let us suppose y is equal to x square is any function in the previous example we have taken this so its graph it will look like this okay this is y equal to x square so what will happen when we substitute y as uh, x as x minus 2 whole square so we are subtracting a unit here it is also a is greater than 0 so we are subtracting 2 in from this uh, x okay the domain of this particular function x so what will happen is every point on this graph will move right what that means east this is the east direction this is the west direction this is north this is south in the map 
so what will happen is now its root will be shifted to 2 ok so it will now move so it will now look like this one so y equal to x minus 2 the whole square will be shifted towards right by 2 unit ok and what will happen when we substitute x as x plus 2 whole square so it will be move backward ok so every point on this graph will move backward by 2 unit so now its root will be minus 2 comma 0 so remember these points so there was a question in the assignment graded assignment about logarithmic function ok so that particular question I didn't remember exactly but uh, let us understand uh, about uh, logarithmic function so y equal to log x we are assuming base as 10 so its graph is like this one log 10 base x so now we will substitute x as x minus 1 so it is 1 comma 0 so all the point on this graph will move one unit towards the right so now the graph will move one unit towards the right okay and its asymptote will now will be at x is equal to 1 okay so this is x equal to 1 so this is not clear from this graph but uh, you can assume here that for y equal to log x its asymptote, its asymptote is x is equal to 0 uh, that means y x is and for this particular graph the asymptote will be x is equal to 1 okay so now we have a stand uh, two transformation that is uh, y equal to f of x plus minus a y equal to uh, y equal to f of x plus minus a 